In southeast Brazil, there is a city called Joinville, and if you travel a few blocks from the city center, you'll find yourself in the middle of Joinville Migrants Graveyard, which locals believe to be extremely haunted. Founded by German immigrants, the first migrants to arrive in Brazil from 1851 to 1913 have all been laid to rest on that very ground. And while the land itself seems to have remained relatively untrodden and rather quiet, some paranormal investigators couldn't just let it slip through their fingers. Or camera lenses. The team over on Raphael Ferpa's YouTube channel suited up and trekked over, hoping to catch some historical paranormal activity. And boy, did they deliver. Galera, os mosquitos estão matando a gente aqui, velho. Tá preu lá, mano. Olha, ficou tudo picado. A gente deixou a câmera bem no esquema aqui. Porque nessa parte aqui, eu senti uma presença bem forte. Um negócio bem passado. Mano, um negócio lá, um negócio passando lá. Peraí, 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 peraí. Caralho, mano, que aquilo, Vinícius? Vamos, vamos ver se tem alguma coisa ali. Chega aí, chega aí, chega aí, chega aí. Mano, eu vi um bagulho passando daqui pra cá. Mano, será que tem alguém ali? Tem alguém aí? Te juro, Vinícius, mano, te juro. Eu não sei se era um... uma pessoa ou se era alguma coisa, cara. Mano. Eu vi, Vinícius, passando. Ai, seu viado, eu pensei que era alguém, você tava aqui do nada. Te juro, Vinícius, passou pra cá, mano. Deixa eu ver se não tem ninguém aqui. Galera, eu não tô brincando, eu vi alguma coisa passando. Eu pensei que até que era alguém, esses caras que vêm do cemitério à noite. Gótico. Você não viu? Você não viu, você tava de costa, eu acho. Who or what the hell was that? Skeptics were quick to jump on the comments section claiming it to be CGI, and while they do have a point, since it's easier than ever to create ghostly figures using video editing tricks, isn't it spine chilling enough to think that this could truly be one of the many lost souls wandering the cemetery? We analyzed the video, and to be fair, if you look closely enough, when a shadowy figure passes by the metal bars, it seems a bit dodgy that some of them go darker, but could the camera quality cause that? Very interesting if you ask us, but what do you think about this one? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Found a creepy video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram at GoosePimpleYT. Also, if you enjoy scary videos like this, subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification every time we upload a new one. Number 9. Low Rider. In this new age of electric cars, it's not a surprise to see a vehicle whipping around on its own accord. But when it's a bike, and its handlebars are going into overdrive, some suspicions of paranormal activity might arise. There is an argument for faulty handbrakes because when you look at the handlebars, they're jittering and flailing around like nobody's business. Could this be a ghostly gateway or a parking mistake? Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 8. Hanging around. Bang Bang Rahayu enjoys nothing more than a scenic jog. But when he happens upon his beautiful graveyard in Indonesia, full of flora and fauna, he pulls out his phone to record his experience. However, there's something amongst all the natural beauty that ruins his relaxed vibe. Take a look. Jadi sore ini kita jogging lagi di sekitaran rumah ya. Sebenarnya bukan sore sih, lebih ke maghrib ini tuh. Dan sebentar lagi kita bakalan lewatin tempat yang lumayan angker banget ya teman-teman di daerah sini. Dan kabarnya sampai sekarang tuh masih sering terlihat sosok penampakan di area situ ya. Karena emang tempatnya tuh deket banget sama TPU. Akhirnya kita sampai juga teman-teman di lokasinya daerah. Nah kita biasanya latihan fisiknya ke sini. 
latihan naik anak tangga. Nah, jadi konon di sekitaran area sini tuh sering terlihat sosok penampakan perempuan. Di sini juga ada dua pohon alpukat, mungkin tempat nongkrong sih banyak. Dikarenakan sekarang udah mau jam 6 sore, jadi kita mau balik lagi ke rumah. Let's go. Oke, kita lanjut lagi ya. Forget about a paranormal punch in the face. It's all about paranormal twigs to the face here. You might think anybody could have thrown the twigs at him and snuck out of view before he flipped the camera around, right? Possibly, but the twigs look as though they were thrown directly in front of him, rather than above him, and there's a wall right in front of him blocking any kind of gateway avenue. If they were tossed from above the wall, they would have hit him on the top of the head, not directly in the face, right? To be fair, it doesn't help graveyards are known for being some of the most haunted places in the world. And that twisted laugh at the end. Bellatrix the Strange Star is enough to send chills down anybody's spine. Was that the work of restless spirits or merely some loose branches that somehow flew from, um, a horizontal tree? What do you think? Number 7. Dead Sprint Religious congregations are some of the most spiritual places you can visit, but this crowd of Jehovah's Witnesses had their attention drawn away from the Holy Spirit by something less holy. You missed it? Don't worry, it's pretty hard to spot. A pale silhouette runs down between the pews. Could this be the apparition of someone who once was? Well, as spooky as this video looks on the outside, the video quality might be a factor in its authenticity. But the translucent figure seems otherworldly. And did you not notice the speed of it in comparison to everyone else? It felt unnatural, perhaps even paranormal. Could this have been a lost spirit sprinting or the result of some motion blur? Whatever the person was running from, no idea. Maybe they left their ghostly oven on, or the heaven's door unlocked, who knows. Number 6. Dog's Sixth Sense If you know anything about the paranormal, you've probably at least stumbled upon the theory that our dogs can see entities from the other side with their naked eyes. Whether or not you believe your pets can see ghosts depends on your own belief in the paranormal, but there is scientific proof out there that dogs can smell, hear, and feel things that humans can't. An article on Reader's Digest that interviewed pet specialists even suggested that if ghosts are real, it's more than likely that they could see them. Have you ever noticed your dog staring at a wall or ceiling and growling? Or barking like mad at seemingly nothing? Perhaps there is something more at play than just a case of the zoomies. Well, we found some new unsettling videos of family dogs sensing the unknown. Check it out. Come here. Come here. Come here. Mama's got gotcha. you. Mama's got gotcha. you. What's wrong, Autumn? I got gotcha. you. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. Are you okay, Autumn? Come on, let's go over there and see what's wrong. Come on. What is it? Come on, what's wrong? What is it? Shh. What is it? A petrified dog rushes to its owner as it growls and barks at something unseen. Perhaps she heard a distant noise that we couldn't pick up on, but whatever she senses makes her shiver in fear, right down to her bones. Autumn, what is it? Whether or not that poor pup experienced something otherworldly, we have more paranormal content to sink your teeth into. A guy on Reddit posted claiming to be a lifetime skeptic, but this video challenged his beliefs. In 
the post itself, he explains this event occurred when he was at work, and his wife sent him the video wondering what had truly spooked the dogs. She only saw the closet door open, but when he reviewed the footage, he heard an unknown voice saying something like, Haya or Taya. right before the door opens. It definitely sounds spooky on a first watch, but some commenters thought this might not have been as terrifying as we and the dogs seem to think. Doors opening by themselves are pretty much seen as the Starbucks Frappuccino of the paranormal world. It's basic. It's been seen countless times before and nobody really takes it seriously anymore. But the noise itself sounds pretty spooky, and why would the dogs be so upset by it? Surely they've seen and heard that door open before if they live in the house. So what scared them so badly? This next one shows another dog in distress, but there's something else that had viewers shaking in their boots. Is there a ghost? Is there a ghost? Yeah. yeah. What is this first? Where's the ghost? Right there. Where? Where is it? We could give you the whole, we don't know what they're sensing rigmarole, but you've heard it before. The original poster seemed to get a gut feeling something wasn't right. So she carried on recording and noticed something bone chilling. What the fuck? A shadow reaches out to grab Rosie the dog. People in the comments were going wild with theories, mostly centering around the idea that it's a ghost cat. Or something more sinister, with some mentioning growls. Spooky, right? The dog was clearly terrified, so much so that the behavior carried on when the original poster shacked up someplace else. Is there a ghost? She seems to think whatever upset Rosie in the previous video latched onto them, following them into their new place. Either way, do you think these dogs witnessed visions of terror from the other side, or are they just of a nervous disposition? Let us know down below. Number 5. Museum Shadows In 2006, Nate Ratterman founded Trip Paranormal after having his first ever paranormal experience. He purchased a home in Nebraska and soon realized it was a haunted hotspot, claiming to experience all sorts of petrifying activity. After packing up and moving to Omaha, the paranormal experiences continued to haunt his daily life. This area, this got blocked out. This inspired him to share his belief with the world in the form of the Museum of Shadows, co-run by Nate and his self-proclaimed medium wife Kaylee. They claim to house over 3,000 haunted artifacts within the walls of their four-story museum, and it's been voted the most haunted museum in the world. But what about this collection of dolls, chandeliers, and spooky masks make it so different from any of the others? That's what we're here to find out. The museum's YouTube channel is decked out with as much supposed paranormal proof as you could ever dream to see. Nate and Kaylee claim that their vast collection of haunted bits and things have been donated by patrons across the globe. There's an entire world of urban legends surrounding the building, and while some of the activity has been caught on camera, here is a little. Lackluster, to say the least. There's a lot of good old fashioned nightmare fuel in there to leave you scratching your head because this museum is wall to wall with creepy dolls.
While there are obviously a few suspicions to be had about these videos, like fishing wires, clever editing, motorized props, etc, and even this video that is supposedly also of a doll that, uh, doesn't particularly show us much. But we can't ignore numerous claims made by museum visitors that a genuine evil essence possesses the dolls. If you take one look at the Google reviews for the place, they all can't get enough of how haunted they genuinely believe this place is. There's little story available online regarding the dolls, aside from brief backstories centering around intense childhood struggles and how that influenced the spirits of young girls to latch onto the dolls. According to the museum's FAQs and a few disgruntled reviews, photos and videos are strictly forbidden inside the museum. So, the only proof we have is recorded by, and then handpicked by, the owners. And as positive as a lot of the feedback is online, there are a few experiences that make us suspicious. There are quite a few people who claim absolutely nothing happened to them during their time in the Museum of Shadows. A woman who claimed she cleans for the couple commented under one of the videos on the channel, saying while nothing crazy ever happened to her while she cleaned the flat above the haunted rooms, the Rattlemans would anxiously follow her around the whole time. We can't confirm whether this is true, obviously, but why would she lie about it under a video without many views? So, if the Rattlemans were stepping on the coattails, why? Were they worried something would find her, or worried she would find something? A lot of activity posted online is often stuff we have seen thousands of times before. Doors opening, objects toppling to the ground or turning around. and wheeled objects seemingly gaining minds of their own and hauling themselves across the floor. There is also a lot of talks of orbs in the building, but they tend to be seen as quite inconsequential in the paranormal scene, especially this clip they posted. A gaggle of orbs float down from the ceiling, however we can't rule out the possibility that they're mere particles rather than spirits. Someone even raised suspicions about the amount of electrical equipment they saw in the demon room, which coincidentally was the only place that EMF readers went off. Another visitor posted a disappointed review on Reddit, claiming that the Rattamans are allegedly in it for the money over anything else. After allegedly upcharging the group from the initial $15 per person entry fee for a sit with ghosts challenge, they told the kids that they may hear a hiss from Ouija board demons and then smell a woman's perfume. The kids ran out after swearing they had heard a hiss and smelt the perfume, so the original poster gave it to go themselves, finding out that the hiss and smell was actually a timed automatic air freshener spritz. Another ghostly attraction that the Rattamans swear by is the continual appearance of shadow figures throughout the museum. They published a video showing the top hits that their security cameras captured.
The one we could actually properly make out was this one, a very clear outline of a male physique is seen. The others aren't particularly clear, but there is something strange about this. Is this a shadow of someone standing nearby or a genuine brush with a paranormal entity? Actually, the entire basis of the Museum of Shadows is rather uncertain. Despite being voted the most haunted museum in the world and having thousands of fantastic reviews accompanied by detailed experiences, many people also seem to believe it's nothing but a spectral swizz. To us, it seems like the outcome of your experience is based on where your beliefs lie. If you truly believe in ghosts and that all the artifacts stored inside have truthful, haunted backstories, you'll probably have a great time and experience all sorts of things. If you have a bit more of a sceptical side, you might leave the museum a little disappointed, with a pretty empty wallet. What do you guys think this is? Truly the most haunted museum in the world? Or one huge money making hustle? You decide. Number 4. Strange Movement Our lovely viewers sent in this next clip, so a huge shout out to Shelly and Makaya who recently had a beautiful baby girl. Shelly keeps her front door security camera software open full screen on her iPad while Makaya is at work, but one day, a notification turned her attention to the device. That's when she saw something really weird starting to form from the bottom left corner into what you're about to see. Upon a later review, they were both left scratching their heads before sending it to us. Let's have a look, shall we? What is that on the camera? It's moving. Look at it, see it? What the hell is that? Whoa, it's moving. It's like hands. What the fuck? Hey Siri. At first glance, it looks like just a bit of mist, doesn't it? Well, let's zoom in and slow down. You can hear Shelly say she thought it looked like a pair of hands at one point, and we can see what she means, can't you? Just like hands. There's a strange, slightly humanoid aspect in some snippets of the weird mist if you look real close. Outdoor security cameras often fall victim to the elements, and the picture can be messed with due to rainwater, dirt, cobwebs, or even moisture in the air if the camera is using infrared. But the hands comment has really thrown us onto a knife's edge. How creepy does that look? We can confidently say that we've never seen anything like this coming from a home security camera. Is this a strange camera malfunction? Or someone or something sitting in the corner rubbing their hands together in anticipation of being clocked. What do you guys think? Big thanks again to Shelly and Micaiah for sending this incredible catch. Number 3. On the Verge Long dark car rides knocks all the energy out of you. Some especially tired drivers can even end up hallucinating all sorts of things. That's what these guys thought was happening to them on their journey from Chickmagula to Bangalore. That was until they got a bit closer and realised that it was no illusion. What the hell was that? 
Not sure if the most convincing things here is how terrified the guys sound as they cross paths with this spectral figure. Or the fact that there is someone in the middle of nowhere at stupid o'clock in pitch black darkness just standing around without a torch or night vision. A figure that's so ghostly and bright, it's almost reflective. Chick Magula is known for its tribal families, who are almost completely detached from modernized society. But why would this look so otherworldly? To the point that the guys instantly thought the worst. Or is this some real compelling ghost footage? What do you think? Let us know. Number 2. Side Eye Roll up for your next dosage of haunted doll videos, also known as pure unfiltered nightmare fuel. Well, that is if you're not like our longtime viewer, John Brown, who happily owns a ton of them. The more haunted, the better. Let's just see how harmful and traumatizing this video is, shall we? Well, that was certainly something. The clip's non-disclosed origins adds to its mystery. Why is there an Anna from Frozen doll lurking completely alone in a random room? No idea. A spine-tingling laugh causes the man to check behind the doll. <laughs> but finds nothing. Then its eyes move, forcing him to dash away in a state of total fear. Real or fake? No thanks. Number 1. Creepy Presence Paranormal investigations can sometimes be a bit boring. There are many videos online consisting of a couple tiny bumps and bangs and a lot of cameras and recording equipment. But this family captured something undeniably chilling. Take a look. Is there anything here with us right now? Make yourself know. Any subtle thing, we will know that something is here. I did not touch that. Didn't touch what? I did not. I, the computer bag just fell on the floor. I need you can't see the true scope of the action from there, but there is a second camera angle. I did not touch that. I did not touch that. Did not touch the, the second they ask for a sign, the computer case is dragged off the table. The girl swears that she didn't touch it. And we can see from the second camera angle that she really didn't. Something about the family's faces tell us they're genuinely spooked at the prospect that something is lurking within their very own walls. Tell you what though, that's the IT support kit out the window. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Don't forget to bump the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.